Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLT of Tech channel and today we will talk about the points that are necessary to become a basic level uh, SharePoint administrator. Uh, these all points I will tell you in details and I will also share the link of all the related videos in the description box. So uh, first of all uh, for a beginner level to start your career in Microsoft SharePoint uh, administration level <clears throat> you must be a uh, you must have familiarization about the SharePoint architecture you should know that how SharePoint works how it is formed what are application servers what are front-end servers what are distributed cache servers what are search servers and what are uh, other type of roles that are <clears throat> there in SharePoint and uh, you must also know that how the architecture of SharePoint is formed or how you can form a architecture with respect to your organization needs so this video is very important it's a theoretical part and I have already uh, compiled a video over it and I will also uh, show it in the description box the second point is that uh, it is very necessary to know that how SharePoint application interact with its databases. Microsoft SharePoint application saves every settings, every data of its uh, content within its database server. So it is very important to know that how SharePoint deals with its database server how it makes how it creates its own databases and how it manages these databases the third point is that you should know about the SharePoint form if we talk about the form uh, form comprise of multiple servers with the dedicated or different type of roles and uh, all of these servers are collectively working to make a complete form and uh, these type uh, there are different various types of forms for example there is a single form there is a dedicated role based forms all of these forms I have also explained in my previous videos if you are my subscriber and continuously watching my videos I'll be quite familiar with the uh, SharePoint forms but if you aren't if you are a new uh, new one to my channel uh, subscribe my channel and also uh, navigate to my channel list or the description box to watch that video the next thing is that uh, being a SharePoint administrator you should know after after getting familiar with these three points you must know that how you can install the SharePoint uh, any of the SharePoint version step by step for that you have to prepare your active directory you must uh, have a knowledge of your Microsoft based Active Directory or Microsoft Azure uh, depending upon your uh, organization standards. Similarly, uh, you should also know that how you can create a database server, how you can create a database server that will be uh, interacting or that will be uh, used as a, my, a SharePoint database server. After that, you should know that how you can install the SharePoint application and how you can uh, connect this application with the database server so that the Microsoft SharePoint application manages all of its data automatically with by itself. Okay. So these are the three parts that are important. Similarly, in third part, you should know that what type of server you are going to make SharePoint has dedicated roles or all-in-one role depending upon your organization needs if you have already done uh, go, gone through my first two points videos then you must uh, have no difficulty in deciding or selecting that which type of SharePoint application or dedicated role server you are going to install similarly after the installation of SharePoint as a SharePoint administrator, you must know each and everything about the SharePoint central administration. <clears throat> in on-premise environment, you have your own central administration and you are responsible for 
configuring everything from creating the website till configuring the services and till managing the content databases after that if you are familiar with central administration yeah, you should be now familiar uh, you should be now ready to create your first web application based on your SharePoint so it's a step for the beginners that beginners must have the theoretical knowledge that is covered in the first three points after that the beginners must know that how they can install the complete environment and then as a beginner you should know that what is central administration at least you should be familiar with the central administration of SharePoint and after that you must be uh, you must be uh, you must know that how you can create your first SharePoint web application and in that web application how you can create site collections so <clears throat> if you are beginner and you are a uh, uh, if you are a beginner of uh, Microsoft SharePoint uh, on-premise environment there is no need to worry I am here to guide you step by step and I assure you that if you follow these videos that are available in my uh, channel and I am giving the links of these videos in description as well uh, if you thoroughly go through these videos you can surely become the beginners uh, level SharePoint administrator in our next video we will cover the syllabus that is necessary for becoming an intermediate SharePoint administrator I thank you all for watching this video